All right, if you're into car shows or doing SEMA or making any kind of accessories for cars, trucks, anything like that, or you're hauling your car around to shows, this is what you need. You'll be the cock of the walk and you'll be the show of the show with this because everybody wants to talk to you about it and look about it. It ain't much bigger than a, a Dodge 3500 or a Ford F350. It's a miniature Peterbilt. And if you want to see what's in it for the motor and the interior and see the full walk around, check my channel. It's on YouTube. It's Cereal Marshmallows. It's about 7,000 videos on there. Make sure and subscribe, like, comment, all that, and talk here. But all right, I'm here to do a review of these two trucks. Actually, it's just the one truck. And as you can see, the hood barely is over the bed of the truck, man. It's a miniature Peterbilt. And we got a regular old 2014 Ford Super Duty F350 Lariat King Ranch next to this bad boy. Just to give you kind of a comparison on size and how it is on size. But this truck is for sale. It's cool. It's unique. You're not going to find nothing about like it. If you don't like talking about your trucks, don't buy this truck. Because I'll tell you what, everybody wants to talk to you about it. And it ain't much bigger than a stinking F350. A lot of fun to drive. I'll clip some more in here and we'll do a review of it. Here's another angle on it you might have seen. There's just hardly any difference in size. Pretty cool miniature Peterbilt. One on a car guy, one on a car guy .com. And you're going to want to check my channel because I got about 7,000 videos on here. Subscribe, like, comment, all this. But this here is a very unique minute two hour Peterbilt, a miniature semi truck. And I'm going to throw in a comparison to a regular Ford F350. It's way shorter than that dually over there. Well, I mean, we got the air horns and everything. So I'm going to go around it, show you a quick walk around. We'll go up close, we'll get any damage, which there ain't nothing to speak of. This thing was ground up, done. I think it had like 5,000 miles on it. My dad picked this thing up in the middle of Kentucky and drove it to, I think it's West Virginia and then all the way back to San Diego, California. And he's been driving it around. All he's done is put some more money into it and basically adding this, adding that. It's got the backup cameras and everything underneath it. It's just clean as can be. It's all redone. It's a very nice rig. Um, what it's on, I'll go over all that as I go around it, but it's basically a miniature Peterbilt. Nathan, 406-546-8748 if you're interested. It's for sale. And if you want a unique truck, this is it. I'm going to walk around it right here and show you any close-ups and all that kind of stuff. It's got the little girl on it here. The mermaid. Oops. Wasn't fully focused. Nice original grill. Got a few tiny dings and stuff. Sounds awesome. Sounds amazing. Sounds amazing. We'll show you the motor and all that here in a second. And, you know, the paint is really, really nice. There's a couple chips here and there. Um, it's a great looking truck, but there's things like this in the fender. I don't know if you can see that indention there or stuff. There's a little spider crack there in the fenders. A couple of those. I hope you can see that. They get it on this kind of a thing. Um, checks in the paint here on the hood. Um, it's bright. It's red. It looks good. You really can't notice unless you get up literally a foot from it. A little, see, a couple little things like that. There's probably something strapped to it at one point. Now there's not, so it's got little indentions. A um, couple chips from the windshield that I've just noticed. Now the interior is beautiful. I'll show you all that. Lots of chrome, lots of lights. When the sun goes down, we'll show you the motor and all that, the interior. Um, chrome and stainless and all that kind of stuff, just everywhere. It's in great shape. And honestly, we're down here in San Diego. Beautiful night. I'm just happy to not be in the snow in Montana. I'm wearing sandals going around the parking lot. We can't do that this time of year in Montana. The way this stuff all goes back, it's all custom. The stainless, I think it is, goes all the way around the back. And these pipes are just awesome. Nice straight pipes. Um, the bed is the fiberglass work bed type of a thing. And I should take some close-up pictures of that later. He's got them all locked. I'll have to get a key. See? Are they all locked? They're all locked. Okay, well, we'll show you those later. Got the proper duels in the back and such. Man, at a car show, you need this. You just you just have to have this. 
pull up just not to take the trophy at the car show. You take a trophy to whatever you pull there. We didn't clean the back out. Rhino lined and stuff. We got stainless up front again. Um, it's clean, but we use it, so got a spare in it and stuff. Um, this little custom piece over your camera to work doesn't get banged. Um, LED, I believe, on the lights. Oh, you gotta take this piece out. That's what it is. I didn't catch that. We'll have to try and show that at another time because I didn't know that. Um, so tire rubber condition is in great condition. Going down the side, it ain't got a lot of dings around this fiberglass. Um, it's in great shape. Um, stainless again up here, a little seal there with a rubber type thing over them where it doesn't leak into them. Um, I think we're ending up with these things open because they're half open because I need to open them. Uh, little lights everywhere. Got a drip rail here. I just had to check. I want to see how hot that was. Um, around the rivets and everything, it looks in good shape. This thing is in great shape. The cab, great shape. A couple dings up there on the back of the cab. So you can see, I'm gonna jump up there real quick where you can see that. I'm very, I wanna be thorough. What I'm showing and selling. It's very unique. A little ditch in there from the rivets. Lots of chrome. Right here, there's a couple dings and such. Uh, these horns are in good shape. They could use a good polishing. Starting to the pot mill do its thing back here on the back of them though. Um, there's the stainless. They could use a good shining too. But that's what's gonna take all the all the elements, let's say. Okay, let me get out of this thing. Oh, it's nice and low actually. Wow. First time I really climbed in there. Aluminum tank cover or uh, chrome tank cover. This chrome stainless aluminum all this thing. Got a master disconnect. And we'll pop the hood when it gets a kitty cat was walking on that. Jeez. Visor, it's all got the louvers in it. Love the lights up top. Um, mirrors are in good shape. Is there a ding in that one? No, that's the way it's shaped. There's a ding right there. Ding right here. Um, top of this was probably, I don't know if it was painted or just needs to shine it. But that's about all you can complain about about it, which ain't much. Um, it's in good shape. You can see a couple of the uh, marks in the hair. I hope you can see that. Right there. Just from the maker's marks or whatever, I'm sure, because they're pretty standard right in there. Um, fish eyes and stuff. And the checking on the top surface here. It's the worst thing I've noticed about any of the paint. So that is the exterior. I'll do it again when it's a little bit um, darker, and that's the pretty much the walk around. I'm gonna do a separate one of the interior in the video. Um, excuse me, the interior in the engine. So make sure to catch that one. And this one is for sale. We were going back and forth on the name of it. We're not really putting the name of it out there. You gotta name this thing, right? It's like a ship. You gotta christen it and name it. Christian, christen, christen, christen. I don't know which one, but cool truck. Well, thanks for watching. I'm going to go ahead and put up a second video with the interior and the test drive and the motor and all that. So, that's the deal. Call me, Nathan, 406-546-8748. And you can also like, subscribe, comment. Because like I say, there's about 7,000 videos on my channel. Got to be some other cool classics you like. I do all kinds of weird cars. We'll talk to you.